We're at the Garmin Sharp Team Hotel in Lanaiken, Belgium this morning, speaking with Cervelo CEO and co-founder Phil White. Phil, what can you tell us about the team's bikes this year? Well, the neat thing is this year the team's got is riding a whole variety of different bikes. It's kind of different horses for different courses. So they'll use the P5, obviously, for the time trials, and they're just ecstatic with that. And you can speak to Ryder's uh, performance in the Giro and how, he, how much more confident he was on the time trial bike this year. So that's great news. The other thing is, uh, on the, uh, in the regular stages, they've got a choice between the S5, which is super aero, and also the R5. And so you'll see some riders switching back and forth if they're comfortable with that. But a lot of them will be on the R5 and the R5 California. And that bike has just got, you know, it's got a history. It was launched three years ago, but it's still 100 grams lighter than anything else in the Pro Peloton and about 30% stiffer. Okay. So there are a lot of guys driving for that. This is Ryder Hesdall's uh, R5 California. And uh, we put a new paint job on it to celebrate for the Olympics and also to celebrate his, uh, his Giro victory. But other than that, it's a pretty stock bike. Uh, it's got the 1 and 3 8 uh, Cervelo optimized tapered steer tube, which allows us to get good comfort, but still really a lot of stiffness. And it's built around the Squoval tube set that we've pioneered about, uh, I guess, about six or eight years ago now. And what we found this year was, uh, was kind of neat was that we built this to be really, really stiff and really, really light. That was the objective of the Squoval shaping. But we also found in the wind tunnel that it's actually a really, really good shape. It's actually better than a round shape from an aerodynamic standpoint. So while it wasn't really designed for that initially, we found after the testing that he's got a bit of an air advantage as well. It's the best of the traditional uh, road bikes. So that gives them an advantage, an aero advantage they can use everywhere. The question is, why would they use a lightweight, a super lightweight bike when it's 100 grams lighter than anything else in the Peloton when we have to balance it up? He can use a really stiff bar. He can use a bar and the stems that he wants to use that give really, really good control. And the nice thing is, he can add a little bit heavier cages. He's got all those options on it. But the real reason he does it is because he likes the stiffness of it. So when he stands up on it, it just goes. So that's the real advantage for, uh, for a rider. He really loves the handling comfort, but also the get up and go. Some of the riders will also be running the S5, and the S5 advantage is it's just super aero. So it's got a big advantage over anything else that's actually out there. And those riders that are happy moving back and forth between different bikes on different stages, you'll see them on the S5 some days, and then the really high mountains, you'll see them up on uh, an R5.